Hello, I'm Beth the Builder, and this week's Honest Guide to Home Repair is testing for asbestos. So, what the heck is asbestos? So, I'm sure everyone's like heard that word. So, asbestos is a naturally occurring silicate mineral. So, it's resistant to corrosion and heat and electricity, and that's why us humans decided to use it in so many f products. Okay, so prior to the 1970s, um, when the government started to regulate asbestos somewhat. It was extremely widely used in so many things. So like ceiling tiles, flooring, cement, fireproofing, fireproofing caulk, caulk, roofing tar, drywall, drywall compound, drywall, drywall, gas mask filters, World War One, what the plaster, shingles on roofs, heat resistant automobile fabric, parts, so many things. And the reason that asbestos is dangerous is because it gets in your lungs and it doesn't leave. So it just like sticks there and stays there. So by the time that ban actually was enacted, I mean, we'd had like a hundred years of asbestos mining and asbestos products being used in everything. And if you think about like, you know, how many houses were built, you know, after World War II into the 1970s, like that's, like most houses in America at this point. So the chances are at some point you're gonna run into like, huh, my house was built in 1960 or 1980. There's probably a pretty good chance that there's some kind of asbestos material in my house. So my house that was built in 1900 or slightly before, I almost am 100% positive that there is this certain floor tile that has asbestos in it. So I want to get to the amazing hardwood floors underneath this linoleum. Actually, linoleum is a, is a general term that people use for flooring. Linoleum has never contained asbestos and it's actually a really, really particular type of flooring. So linoleum contains linseed oil, pine resin, ground cork, sawdust, and mineral fillers such as calcium carbonate. So. People use linoleum as a generalized term, like I just did, but it's actually sheet flooring that's in my hallway. So, anyway, back to you, Beth. So, instead of doing what my heart and soul desires, which is to plow ahead and do that thing, I like paused and I was like, okay, I see you. We're gonna do some research. So the website I've used to try and identify and learn more about um, asbestos construction materials is called Inspectopedia and they have a ton of information about you know what is asbestos and what companies manufactured it and when and where and then they also um, have people submit like hey I got this tile tested and it came back with this percentage of asbestos in it but there's no way to tell that something has asbestos in it unless you get it lab tested. So they try to make it very clear that like you can't tell if something has asbestos in it just by looking at it. So that is when something like this comes in handy. Okay, so you can call like a company to test any materials in your home and then potentially remove them if they do contain asbestos. I'm not gonna do that because that's expensive. So I bought this test kit on Amazon for $24 and it says simple as one, two, three. So I'm going to show you what's all in the box and then we will get to the area in the, in my home that I want to test and uh, we'll get it mailed away. Yeah. Hazard warning. Be careful. If you're concerned about something in your home, get a test kit or just don't disturb it. There's ways of dealing with it that are not immediately hazardous, especially covering it up if you can, um, or just leave it alone. If you're thinking about tearing up flooring or taking down a ceiling or whatever, any of the materials I named, be aware. And just be aware of when your house was constructed and the timeframes of when things would have been updated. But handle with care, be careful. Okay, so first let's see what's in our box and what we need to do to test for asbestos. So, uh, instructions. I got a mask and gloves. Good. Um, 
two baggies. This is this is the return envelope that I'll send that I'll mail it back to them with. And then let's see. So this is my information that I'll send with it. And then I believe. Okay, and then this is if I want to. This is credit card information is for if I want to pay for another sample to be tested. Okay, so it says to wear protective mask and gloves, protective clothing, turn off your heating and cooling system. That's something you definitely wanna do if you're gonna be disturbing anything, if you have to, like make sure you're not, make sure you're sealing off vents and you're not pumping that through your house. Oh, and I said this earlier that if you have to, keeping it wet will really, really reduce the amount um, of fibers that are released into the air. Okay, so I need a one inch piece and then it just says to, yeah, uh, enclose the sample and then you have to label some stuff. So it seems pretty self-explanatory. So I'm gonna go figure out where I wanna take a sample from and then we'll uh, get that all taken care of and mailed away. Okay, so this is the location in question. That, uh, this top gray marble stuff is definitely newer. It's um, all the way into my kitchen. And then the yellowy kind of marble chip pattern underneath it, I think that's maybe what it's called from my research, is what I'm questioning perhaps has asbestos. So I have wetted this down quite a bit as I've been um, looking at it because I wanted to pull enough up of it to try and see a manufacturing name on the back because sometimes that can tell you um, potentially when it was made, um, who made it, and then potentially even like some numbers that you can look up. Again, the uh, Inspectopedia website is super, super helpful for that sort of thing. And then this is just like kind of a, like a cardboardy layer between the wood and then this top tile. I think this is a uh, sheet flooring because there doesn't, there aren't um, individual tiles. It's just all one big sheet. Um, into my hallway. It went down in my stairwell um, that I never ended up messing with. I just covered it with carpet. And then it goes into my kitchen as well. So I'm gonna take a sample of this yellow stuff and we're gonna see what's in it. Okay, so I got my asbestos results back. I did not get them in two to three days. It took about a week and a half and I had to email them. But once I emailed them, they were very snappy about it. They called me and they emailed me twice. So I was right in being suspicious of that flooring. It came back, as you can see here, as 18% chrysotile asbestos, 20% cellulose, fibrous non-asbestos material, and 62% uh, non-fibrous organic matrix material. So yeah, obviously 18% isn't nothing which is kind of what I was hoping for, but um, it's also not like 80%. So I don't feel too terrible having kind of disturbed it unknowingly when I was trying to figure out what was underneath there. But um, yeah, I would rather know it was worth getting the, the inspector in a box. I feel like it's definitely the cheapest option. And um, now I know, and I can come up with a plan B. So um, I won't be disturbing that flooring anytime soon. I think it's really, really not worth the risk. Even if you never end up having any health concerns, it's really, really not worth it just to uncover that hardwood or remove that undesirable ceiling or whatever. It's just not worth it. So I guess be on the lookout for Beth the Builder's plan B of what to do with her hallway flooring. It is fine, I don't need to do anything with it. I just don't really like the tile that's there. It's also been installed like really poorly. So, but plan B where we don't disturb asbestos into the air and, you know, make my home a, a toxic place. Okay, so definitely go check out Inspectopedia is a super helpful resource for understanding what asbestos is, what things you may be concerned about, especially when it comes to the guides of looking at um, patterns of tile and companies that manufactured them. That's really what solidified in my mind. I saw several pictures that I was like, that's exactly the pattern that I have in our hallway. I am fairly certain that that has to contain asbestos. Also, you can kind of start to narrow down like um, 
when updates would have been done just by kind of like the coloring of things i was pretty sure that i was like this looks very uh 70s 80s so i was pretty confident that it did contain asbestos but i'm glad i got the inspector in a box and it's a really cheap way of um, putting any concerns you have to bed or coming up with a plan B about either covering that thing or not disturbing it or whatever. Check out the description below where you can find all the places you can follow me as well as my PayPal where you can fund a Beth the Builder project. Otherwise, give me a like and thanks for watching.